what's up vape fam it's vape a monkey and I'm here to bring you a short review and unboxing on the Russian mod by upper class technology it's a really cool mechanical tube mod uh, that also doubles as a hybrid mech mod I also have it in hybrid mech mod mode right now and uh, I have to say it's a really neat mechanical mod um, <clears throat> just messing with it for a little while now and um, it's lined with copper, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to get down up close and uh, I'll break out all the specs and whatnot while I'm doing the up close portion. But uh, I have to say, this thing hits quite hard. It's a, uh, it's a great mechanical mod. I have like a, a 0 .18, 0 .17 ohm build in here. thing is hitting hard. Beautiful. Um, construction, seamless. And uh, I don't want to go too crazy out here at this angle. Uh, when we bring it up close, I'll get down to it and I'll give you all the nitty gritties on the specs and uh, you get a nice view of this mod up close as well as I'll show you the uh, two different options for the 510. Anyway, uh, let's take it up close and uh, let's check out this Russian mod by uh, Upper Class Technology. to purchase this mod this is what it would look like nice little box you've got uh, their phone number and website um, an authentication sticker I assume upper class technology okay turn it around take it out nothing in the top Put that away you get your mod in a plastic bag that I took off so don't mind that um, it says the Russian mod on the side. You can't even feel the logo. That's nice. It's like rubbed in there. Um, very smooth. Very seamless feel. And uh, yeah, you could see the seams. But in person, it's a whole lot harder to see them. It's not even really... You can't even really feel them. It's uh, They did a good job with that. Nice and clean. Um, on the bottom, well, I guess we'll start from the bottom. You have six holes, one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, there's a little locking feature on the bottom here. Right now, it's unlocked. To lock it, you would turn it left or counterclockwise until you feel it click. Then you're locked. And then to continue to turn, you would break loose the threads and you'll expose the bottom firing mechanism and uh, it fires through a internal spring in the bottom as do a lot of mech mods I'm not going to take this apart right now because that bolt is really on there good or that pin but um, and I'm pretty sure it's like all the rest of them but uh, I love that battery venting that is a beautiful thing by the way this is a 22 millimeter um, mod through and throughout all right it also is a 18350 and 18500 friendly mod as you see and uh yeah no qualms there also the uh hybrid top that's added let's skip this part so i can get it out okay it is a brass hybrid top cap um no issues with it i've only used it once with my royal hunter but no issues we'll put that down for a moment threads are nice and smooth no issues no crunching when i received it there was no grease or anything it's actually pretty uh pretty good shape um down inside you have gold plated copper i believe because the mod is copper so i mean i'm just guessing though and uh, on their site it just says gold and silver plated so i'll just assume that it's copper um same for the top the battery adjustment is a 510 screw that makes contact with your atomizer and then your battery rattle screw 
they're both threaded in the same direction, like it or not. And uh, I have no idea what kind of insulator that is, so your guess is as good as any. You have some dugout um, cuts in the top uh, for bottom airflow feeding tanks or whatever you screw on there. Okay, so that's for that. As you can see, it's copper all the way down and through. And uh, let's focus on the very bottom. You can see the serial number, 236. And uh, yeah, pretty much covers everything. Here's what it looks like with the hybrid top. And there it is in 18650 mode with the hybrid top cap. Um, no issues with the threads. Threads are actually really clean, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, cool beans. But, um, I guess that pretty much covers the mod. Um, I was going to give you the specs up close, but, uh, this was, uh, pretty fast. Check it out. And, um, also, you get nothing else in the box except for the hybrid top cap. And that's it. So... That was the box mod. We'll go up to uh, FaceTime. I'll give you the specs again. This time I will. And uh, that's it. Alright, so that was my close-up. I was going to give you guys the specs when I did the up-close, but it just kind of went the way it went. And uh, I'm just kind of feeling it out, and it just went that way. So I'm going to give you guys the specs on this mod now. Uh, I have it right here in my hand so that everything is 100%. Um, okay, I already know this. I'm using it right now in hybrid mode. Uh, the hybrid top cap is 100% uh, brass. Uh, the whole mod is a 22 millimeter uh, mechanical mod. Uh, what else? What else? Obviously, don't be throwing a sub tank on this in hybrid mode. It's not for intermediate users. It's for advanced users, people that are aware of their homes a lot, as well as their vaping devices and uh, hardware. Okay, um, the way they explain the lock switch mechanism on the bottom, it's a three-way bottom switch, an eighth of a turn to lock it, which would be um, counterclockwise, then an eighth of a turn to the right, yeah, and then an eighth of a turn to the right to unlock it. Um, to fully release it, obviously, you just turn it counterclockwise until it comes loose. Really easy. So, all the way to the right till you can't go no more. And she fires. A little bit to the left or counterclockwise as if you were going to unscrew it, but you'll feel it pop and lock into a position. Locked. Continue. It'll come loose. Okay, easy as that, right? Um, I know I said up close that it was uh, gold or silver plated contacts already. Bottom and tops are adjustable. The 510 uh, top piece that comes with this for sub ohm tanks or atomizers, if you'd like, has an adjustable two, uh, you know, two ended pin where you they're both threaded in the same direction, but you adjust, you know, 510 contact and then the other one you adjust battery rattle. A little tongue tied there. Uh, you got your six vent holes. There's no dimension on the holes. And uh, that's it. I got the, uh, what is it right here? I got the Matty Silver exterior, but they also have a stainless steel um, exterior, but they're all internally copper. Um, I'm a big fan of the copper, but uh, I was trying to stray away from the actual exterior copper for the smell and feel of it. Plus, I got a little girl now, so like when I go out to have a little vape and come back in, after doing that a lot, you need to get that nasty smell, and you don't want to touch your kid's face with that. So, uh, thumbs up on that. I got the uh, Matty finish, but I still got the copper hit. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much covers everything. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, glad to be back and filming. I got a couple other different items, uh, some regulated items, as well as some uh, sub tanks I got to review. I'm pretty excited about. And uh, who knows what's next. But uh, I'm glad I got to drop this video. I'm sorry if I rambled. But uh, this is Vapor Monkey. Like always, keep your cotton wet. Until next time, see you later.